So we were driving downtown and Ellen, our oldest, is was 11 at the time. And I saw FOA, Foundation of Arts, on the side of the building at the Arts Center. And I looked it up, Facebook or Google, whatever I used. And um, I thought, oh, that's neat. I'll look into that and see what that is. And so I just thought it would be a neat way for Ellen to be involved. Um, that summer, we were looking at the ballet intensive. And I thought that is something she can do or that she needs and maybe she'll make some friends. And so really I started out with the intentions of her having something to do and maybe making a few friends. But what it has evolved into over the past five years is a community that she really fits well into. And it's diverse because there's kids from all schools, all ages, all walks of life. Um, and they all work together so well and they get along and they love each other. I think what's evolved is just my expectations that I thought, well, she would make a few friends, but I realized that within the arts community, whether it's these friends, I just know that in the arts community itself, there's always room for diversity and for her to make friends with all different kinds of people. I do think the FOA involved, it doesn't, does involve people from all walks of life. So that's one way. I mean, you can have cliques, but that's not community. And community is um, everyone and the diversity all working together towards a common goal. And so I do believe that the FOA offers that for our community, as well as a fun and rich and entertaining environment that is not um, shallow in entertainment. The kids are entertained, but what they don't realize is that they're also becoming more aware of themselves and um, the people around them and figuring out how they fit into that. Um, so I, I do feel like it offers unity within our community. And um, my mind has raced about all the ways that art heals and all the different ways that we could use that to help our community. So, um, you know, it does heal and I, I just believe that um, that's something we could take even further. I feel like in a visual sense, like in my mind, I visualize just this whole. And if it's, if the art center and instruction was not there and the productions weren't there, it's not just about those 40 people who get together and put on a production. You think about the directors, the costume designers, everyone backstage, and then the audience who also plays a role in that. So if you remove the FOA and, you're, and you no longer have the art center, it's not just affecting 40 people, it's affecting hundreds of people who enjoy and appreciate and benefit from what the FOA offers. So we have become involved with the Foundation of Arts the summer that we opened our restaurant. And as a nonprofit and a, holding a liquor license in a dry county, you're supposed to choose a nonprofit that you donate to regularly. Um, and I thought, my, this is what my child loves. What better thing to invest in than the arts? And so I think that we tend to spend our money where our heart is. And I do believe that where you, um, where your heart is, there your money will be also. And so that was a big thing for us. And just to see the number of people that it would impact and um, that you can, you can give in small ways, but you know, they didn't impact only a few people. And that's fine too, because I, feel, I know that there's purpose in that. I've always lived by the motto, go big or go home. So I would like to invest and choose to invest in some of the biggest ways that we can impact our community.